kinds of tracings. These are neither accelerations or decelerations. These are just patterns. This one is tested fairly frequently. I remember seeing it on step two a few times. And it's a sine wave or sinusoidal pattern. And the answer on the test seems to be RH incompatibility. But the truth is, this is due to fetal anemia. So what's the difference, you might be asking? Well, the difference is fetal anemia can be caused by more than just RH incompatibility, right? So let's talk about what can cause fetal anemia. It could be RH. It could be twin-to-twin -twin transfusion. Sometimes you see this just as TTT. Uh, it could be blood group incompatibilities. It could be maternal fetal hemorrhage. It could be, well, let's stick it there. It's okay. Another thing besides fetal anemia that can cause this is drugs. All right, and this is one you'll commonly, well, you'll see probably on the wards. Um, the the main drug that causes this is Stadol, and so mom or the nurse will go in, give mom a shot of Stadol, and within just a little bit of time, you'll come out and look at the monitor, and you'll see this sine wave. And the nurses know it well; they'll call it the Stadol sign or the Stadol wave. But you know, be looking out for Stadol. That could very well be um, be a drug question um, on your boards. So another. Um, interesting bit. I don't know that you'll ever see a test question on this, but another interesting pattern is um, it's a variable D cell, and you have your shoulders like this, but instead of a V shape, you get this W shape, and this is due to a nuchal cord. There's some data that shows that this pattern. Um, is because baby has a nuchal cord. We won't dig into the physiology. Um, it's just an interesting sort of fun piece of information to know. You know, if you're on the wards and you see this, it might be um, might be worth, you know, I would say placing a bet on whether the baby has a nuchal cord or not. But if you're delivering the baby, you know that you better pay special attention when you're delivering to find that nuchal cord, and you can reduce it and um, sort of show off in front of your attending um, so that's it, nuchal cord. All right, so next, um, let's move forward. And we're almost done here. We'll move forward, and we're just going to talk about the um, the categories, okay, the fetal heart rate categories.